Before Zion Williamson would be drafted first overall at the 2019 NBA Draft by the New Orleans Pelicans. Before Zion Williamson would steal a page from Kevin Durant's book getting choked up talking about his mom and the sacrifices she made for him. Before Zion would be compared to NBA superstars and legends such as Blake Griffin, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, and of course... LeBron James. Before Zion Williamson would be projected to sign a rookie contract that would pay him a total of 45 million bucks, assuming the Pelicans include the two-year option to his rookie deal. Before Zion would be hit with a $100 million lawsuit just a day before being drafted first overall. Zion Williamson is expected to make an immediate impact when he hits the hardwood for the start of the 2019-2020 season with the young New Orleans Pelicans. Teaming up with the likes of Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and Josh Hart, Zion is expected to take the league by storm. After being compared to one of the greatest to ever play the game of basketball, there is definitely excitement surrounding the NBA world and, of course, the Pelicans locker room. The 6'7", 285-pound baller would start his sports career playing soccer and quarterback in football before eventually realizing he was made for the NBA. I mean, just look at the guy. He's an absolute tank. As previously mentioned, Zion's drawn a lot of comparison to LeBron James, even rocking the same all-white suit on draft night. But it's not like the success of Zion Williamson is a fluke. He would start training to become an NBA star at the young age of 5 years old, waking up at 5am when he was just 9 to work on his shooting and conditioning. Jeez, I woke up at like 7 o'clock this morning and it was hard for me to turn my coffee machine on. We're gonna cover that. Zion's come up, not me making coffee. And everything you need to know about the NBA's next potential phenom, Zion Williamson, here for you on Before They Were Famous. How's it going guys, Jared Bronstein here, and welcome back to Before They Were Famous. In my last video, we talked about Bull Bull, who actually got drafted much lower than expected with the 44th pick. Now we did a Before They Were Famous not too long ago on Zion, but since then, a ton of stuff has gone down, so we wanted to keep you guys as up to date as possible. Be sure to keep sending your requests right down below in the comment section. And today's trivia question is, which Canadian rapper got a custom high school Zion jersey made while Zion was still in high school? I mean look, it's standard, well not standard, but a lot of celebrities like to wear NBA players jerseys from their high school or college days, but this guy had someone wearing his jersey while he was still in high school and just 16 years old. Damn. You guys gotta find out who we're talking about at the end of the video, but let's get right into this one. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Zion Latif Williamson was born on July 6, 2000 in Salisbury, North Carolina. Zion's mother, Sharonda Sampson, was a college track star at Livingston College who would reportedly jump six feet high, and Zion's biological dad, Latif Williamson, who's 6'5", played college football for North Carolina State before transferring to Livingston College. That's where his two parents would eventually meet and fall in love, eventually giving birth to Zion. When Zion was two, his family would relocate to Florence, South Carolina, but at the age of five, Latif and Sharonda would get a divorce. Aside from the genes he clearly inherited from his athletic biological parents, Zion's stepdad, Lee Anderson, also played college basketball at Clemson, so from a young age, it seems Zion was destined to be an incredible athlete. At 9 years old, Zion would get up at 5am to train for the game he would eventually dominate. Being coached by his mother, Zion would play for the Sumter Falcons in the AAU League, playing opponents that were as much as 4 years older than he was. And while in 8th grade, Zion was standing at 5'9", which is still tall for a 14 year old. I mean, I'm 5'9 and I'm 25. Anyway, due to his height, he could be seen as the shorter one in his early team photos. Zion would attend Spartanburg Day School from his kindergarten years all the way to his senior year in high school. Before Zion would start high school, his family would move to Spartanburg due to basketball related reasons. In his first year of high school ball for the Spartanburg Griffins, Zion would grow to 6 foot 3 inches, he would average 24.4 points, 9.4 rebounds, 2.8 assists, 3.3 steals and 3 blocks per game, earning himself all state and all regional honors. This would not come easy though as Zion would spend his summer days, heading into grade 9 in the gym, working on his skills and developing the ability to dunk. Just like this. He would lead his team to the state championship but would lose and head into the summer of 2015, getting his first offer from Wofford. By grade 10, he'd be standing at 6'6", six six, and it wouldn't be long before the world would know who Zion Williamson was. Featured in the popular basketball publication Slam Magazine and being considered one of the best high school players in the world, Zion Williamson was destined for greatness. In his sophomore year, Zion would help Spartanburg Day win their first SCISA I2A regional title in program history, averaging 28.3 points, 10.4 rebounds, 3.9 blocks. 2.7 steals and 2.5 assists. Yeah! 
Heading into his junior year, Zion would have offers from closer to 20 colleges, including Clemson, Wofford, USC Upstate, College of Charleston, Florida, Georgia, Virginia, Connecticut, Miami, Mississippi State, Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, NC State, LSU, and Texas A&M. It wouldn't be long before North Carolina and Kentucky would offer him scholarships as well. And there was good reason for the offers. The kid just kept getting better and better. In his junior season, Zion would average 36.8 points, 13 rebounds, 3 steals, and 2.5 blocks per game. Then in November of 2016, Steph Curry would retweet a trending video of Zion playing high school ball, which to the 16 year old Zion seemed pretty cool. And Steph seems to have a lot of respect for Zion as well. He's unbelievably talented, but you can't teach like his his passion and, and the way that like his, his his motor and the way that he plays. Like he he plays hard every possession. I think that's something that's very underrated. Williamson would help his school during his senior years of high school ball. Zion averaged 36.4 points, 11.4 rebounds, and 3.5 assists per game, helping Spartanburg win their third consecutive SCISA Region I2A Championship, putting up 38 points against Trinity Collegiate School. Williamson would also play in the 2018 McDonald's All-American game, scoring just 8 points in 17 minutes before a thumb injury would keep him out of the rest of the game. He would also be forced to miss the Jordan Brand Classic and Nike Hoop Summit the following month because of the same injury. But by this point, he would have a ton of offers from colleges all around the states, including an offer from LSU's tight ends coach to play football. Zion had absolutely no interest in that, and although many experts thought he would end up at Clemson, it turns out they were wrong. In total, Zion would have a total of 28 offers from colleges all across the US, but would commit to Duke on January 20th, 2018 in a live telecast on ESPN. Zion would play one year at Duke, averaging 22.6 points, 8.9 rebounds, 2.1 assists, 1.8 blocks, and 2.1 steals per game. Zion and fellow teammate RJ Barrett, who got drafted third overall to the Knicks, would help lead Duke to the state championship, where Zion would win tournament MVP honors, becoming the sixth freshman to do so. He averaged 27 points and 10 rebounds while making 33 of 43 shots. Shots. During the insanely popular 2019 NCAA tournament, CBS, the official partner of the tournament, devoted a camera specifically for Williamson called the Zion Cam, which would film only Zion throughout Duke's games. It was a smart move because they captured plays like this. Duke would lose in the Elite Eight to Michigan State, but Zion would shoot 68% from the field, leading the ACC and ranking second in the NCAA Division I. It was also the highest field goal percentage ever by a freshman. He also joined some nice company, being the third freshman to record 500 points, 50 steals, and 50 block shots in a season. The other two? NBA superstars Anthony Davis and Kevin Durant. He also joins Davis as just the second freshman to win the Naismith Award and go first overall at the NBA Draft. We just did it before their famous video on AD, so check that one out right after this one. On April 15, 2019, Williamson would declare for the 2019 NBA Draft. After the Pelicans would win the lottery, there were rumors that Zion would potentially return to Duke for a second season. Zion's stepfather, Lee Anderson, said they're excited about Zion possibly playing in New Orleans and shot down rumors of a potential return, saying, I quote, it's not something they've even considered. And as you guys now know, Zion Williamson was the first overall pick of the 2019 NBA draft, going to the New Orleans Pelicans. But just a day before Zion would hear his name called, he was hit with a $100 million lawsuit. Prime Sports Marketing LLC and company president Gina Ford filed the lawsuit Wednesday in a Florida court, accusing Williamson and the agency now representing him of breaching their contract. Williamson signed with Prime Sports in April before hiring a player agent, but filed a lawsuit himself to terminate the five-year contract after he decided to move to Creative Artists Agency in May. Prime Sports is seeking $100 million in punitive damages against Williams, CAA, and two of CAA's employees. In a statement to the Associated Press on Wednesday night, Ford's attorneys said, she has worked tremendously hard to build Prime Sports marketing into a competitive marketing and branding consulting firm while raising a family. She's deeply saddened and disappointed Disappointed, that was once a promising business with Mr. Williamson has now resorted to legal action. This is part of the job. This is part of being a professional athlete, so you know, it doesn't really bother me. Now, because this lawsuit just came out literally two days ago, we don't know how it's going to pan out. Maybe they'll settle, or maybe it will go to court. Who knows? What I do know is Zion Williamson is going to be an absolute animal in the NBA for years to come. Now he's not expected to be the savior of the Pelicans who only reached the playoffs twice in the past six seasons, but he'll definitely help a team with such a young core including Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, and Lonzo Ball, all newly acquired in the trade for Anthony Davis. As always, I want to hear from you guys, so let me know your thoughts on Zion Williamson in the comments right down below, and how you guys think he'll do with the new young and exciting New Orleans Pelicans. Before we wrap this up, I asked you guys which Canadian rapper got a custom high school Zion jersey made. Well, I'm sure you guys aren't too surprised, it was none other than Toronto's very own Drake. But that's it for me guys, hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Jared Bronstein, if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel yet, what are you doing? 
Be sure to subscribe so you guys get up to date videos all the time on your favorite celebrities and athletes. Also check out some of our other videos we've done on up and coming NBA stars like Bull Bull. You guys can find me on social media at Bronze7 and I'll see you guys in another video and of course the comment section down below.